Hey everyone, Duke here, and today we're talking about high stat armor again and going into a little bit of deeper detail. There was a lot of comments in a recent video of mine where basically it, they were saying that it's impossible to get triple 100s without using fragments, and here we are showing that we have absolutely no fragments equipped and we still have triple 100 stats. Also, on top of that, we are using no artifice rolls. As you can see here, this is all armor directly from the helm, as we showed in the last video. And we're going to kind of go through exactly how we did this and some of the math and specifics that are going to be needed in order to get to triple 100s without using fragments or artifice rolls. Now, of course, with fragments, there are some that give negative stats and there are some that give positive stats. Obviously, if you're using positive stat fragments, that's going to make getting to triple 100s even easier. But again, we're showing that it's possible to do it without them. On the other hand, if you are using negative stat fragments, which a lot of the fragments in the game are quite good, a lot of the ones that are the best tend to be negative stat fragments, that is going to make triple 100s much, much more difficult and mathematically impossible in most cases without artifice armor. But again, we're going to go through a few things today. So we talked about it in the last video and in multiple videos in the past, but just in case you missed it, basically when you're looking for triple 100 stats, you need to be picking from two in the top three stats or two in the bottom three stats and then one in the other. You can never get 100 mobility, 100 resilience, and 100 recovery, for example, because of the way armor works and the way armor splits happen. So you need to pick two from one, one from the other, and then once you've picked that, again, in my example, we have resilience, recovery, and discipline, you're going to want to use the ghost mod of the single stat mod that is in that group of three. So this, in this example, discipline is in the bucket with intellect and strength, and it's the one that we're picking singular compared to the resilience and recovery that are together that has the two. We want to pick the one, so we're doing discipline armor on our ghost. Now the reason for that is kind of two or maybe even threefold. Basically, legendary armor has a bunch of different possible roles that it can have, and at a base, the highest possible legendary armor role you can get total stats-wise is going to be 68. And the way that that can break down is basically, again, top three stats of mobility, resilience, and recovery can have a maximum of 34 total stats. And discipline, intellect, and strength can again have a maximum of 34 total stats. So this helmet we're looking at right now has, th again, 34 on the top. We've got two mobility, six resilience, and 26 recovery. And then we've got 33 in the bottom, so we're actually missing one possible stat, but we've got 21 discipline, 10 intellect, and two strengths. So almost at max with a really, really nice distribution here. Now, mathematically, we've broken this down and I'm going to show it on screen here, but you're going to need a total of 130 total stats in your group of two stats in order to be able to get them both to 100. The way that works, again, mathematically, is if you have a base of 130 total between those two stats, you can then masterwork all your armor to get 10 in each of those stats, which is going to bump you up to 150. Again, 10 in this example, 10 for resilience, 10 for recovery, so that's 20 total, plus the original 130, that's 150. And then you have five possible slots for your general armor mods, whether it be resilience, recovery, or again, whatever example you want to use in your case, that is 50 total. 10 times five is 50, so 150 plus 50 is 200, and the 200 total that we're going to need between our two stats, again in this example being resilience and recovery. Now again, looking at this specific armor piece, just because once you've masterworked the armor, I feel like it's a little bit harder to see, but you're going to notice, again, that 32 is going to be our maximum total amount of stats in two possible stats of the three, because you can never get zero in a stat as well, so mobility is always going to have at least two there, and we have 34 max, so 34 minus two, that's going to be 32, and this piece has that maximum of 32 total stats. Now, I will say, at the beginning of the video, we talked about, again, this is with no fragments, and this is with, with no artifice rolls. Now, if you are doing the math a little bit ahead of time, you're going to notice that 32 times four pieces is 128. And we said that we need 130 total stats in order to get to our triple 100 build, or basically our double 100 on the top, because the th third stat getting to 100 is not that difficult. You know, the single stat on the bottom or the single stat on the top, depending on what you're doing, is not going to be very difficult. It's more difficult to get the two in the same bucket to both getting to 100. Now, again, we need to find two more stats somewhere. So, I didn't lie, but 
this is going to require a artifice class item in order to get your extra plus three stats. Now, it's not a roll, right? This is not an artifice roll that you need one artifice class item ever in order to be able to do this. And this is something I've talked about in previous videos all the time. I feel like other artifice armor tends to be extremely overrated just because of the difficulty of getting it. And again, we're going through the math here. In order to really get your actually perfected triple 100 builds in these cases, you need to have the same exact type of rolls. You're still going to need that 130 total stats. So you're going to be able to, some, in if you had all artifice armor, you could subtract three from, you know, in this example, resilience recovery from a single armor piece. So like, for example, if this piece was artifice, we could have it be six resilience and 23 recovery and have it end up being the same. Or if it's anything better than that, then obviously it would be slightly better than this piece in terms of the artifice. But that's pretty hard to come by. And not everybody has teams to run with for master dungeons and all that type of stuff. And helmet armor is extremely, 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 extremely easy to come by. So all we're asking here is to get this one singular artifice piece. You do this one time in any master dungeon and you're good forever. And that's going to allow you to get to that 130 total stats. Now again, that math is assuming using no fragments. So if you are able and wanting to use fragments that give you plus on your stats, that's going to make it even easier and even more doable. And again, potentially not even needing artifice armor at all to be able to reach these stats. A mod like this, Echo of Obscurity, is one of my favorite mods in the game. I feel like finishers on invis every single time is insanely strong, and getting plus 10 recovery, huge bonus. So there's ways around this as well, and there's ways to potentially get even more stats maybe into a fourth stat by doing this as well. But again, just breaking down the math here. So I mentioned how the single stat is honestly pretty easy to get. There's a couple reasons for this. A, we are using the ghost mod for that stat, so that's going to make every piece that we're getting quite high in that stat just automatically. But the other reason for that is, again, mathematically, we've got four pieces and we need to reach 90, technically, if we want to be able to get to 100 once we masterwork all of our pieces. And 90 divided by four is going to be 22 and a half. So really all you need on your single slot is 22 to 23 stat in that stat on all four pieces. Again, if you have a piece like this that already has 28 base with 30 masterwork, but 28 base that's going to be saving you extra stat that you need on maybe a, a different piece. So even just a single piece that has like 28 or 30 maybe on it is going to be an additional five to seven that you don't need on another piece, which means that, it, you know, if your other pieces, like your second and your third piece have like 22 and 23 on them, you can have a piece as low as 15 and still be able to get to 100 on that single sided stat. Now, as we mentioned, you can definitely get away with a lower roll on your single stat than you can on your double group of stats. And that's going to come into play, especially on your exotic of choice, because exotics are obviously going to be more difficult to come by, and especially the correct stats are going to be more difficult to come by. But basically what you want to look for, and we're going to break all this down into like one kind of last part here. What you're looking for total is at least 31 between your group of two stats. Again, in our example, resilience and recovery. When it is not masterworked, or if it already is masterworked, you're going to want at least 35. That is going to be kind of your cutoff if you really want to be going for triple hundreds without any artifice, without any fragments. Otherwise, it's just mathematically going to not work, right? And if you do already have a mod on it, obviously you can add 10 to that. You can put Put your extra 10 wherever but just to see it a little easier we have the mod off for right now so this has 36 with the masterwork that means it's 32 without the masterwork that's what we're looking for again your stat on the single stat side is going to be a little bit more flexible on your exotic for sure you're going to, we're going to need to average 22.5 per stat across all four of our pieces so our legendaries can definitely make up for it a little bit i'd still recommend you know being close to 20 just so it's a little bit more doable if you have a single 30 roll discipline that's going to allow an exotic to be more like 15 and still be able to make up for it. So that's awesome. If you have multiple pieces, you know, 25 plus that are legendaries in your single stat, that's going to make your exotic even easier to come by on the single stat side. Again, the harder spot is going to be the double stat side where you really do still need that to be 31 or 32 total between the two stats that you want. Otherwise, again, without artifice armor or without fragments, it's just not going to be doable. So let's go through all the math and all the things that we actually want to take from this video as we go through a time lapse of me going through and getting all of these engrams to get all of this armor. It did take me about 150 total 
helm engrams in order to get to these triple hundred builds, which is a good chunk for sure, but honestly, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And even more honestly, the really difficult part was getting those last couple points and having everything fit properly, especially doing this manually and not using D2 armor picker at all, like trying to make all the armor pieces fit to actually get the 100, 100, 100 that you need rather than like, you know, 105 here and 95 there. That's going to make it, again, a lot harder, especially just eyeballing it. D2 Armor Picker does a lot of that for you, so that's super duper helpful. Again, highly, 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 highly recommend using that as we talked about in the last video. But again, breaking down the math, we need every single piece in our resilience recovery side, again, whatever your double stat side is, to be at least 31 total. Going back to what we talked about earlier, we need it to add up to 130, technically 127, because we can have our one artifice class item, and 127, or let's do 128, divided by four, that's gonna be 32. So we have one extra point to work with. So technically three of the four pieces need to be 32 total. You can have one piece that is 31 instead. Again, if you do have more artifice armor or if you are able or willing to use fragments in order to assist you in getting to those hundreds, you're gonna have a lot more room for er error, so to speak, on getting to this number. Secondarily, the bottom stat side, again, we need 22.5, we need to get to 90 total because we're not going to be able to use any of our stat mods on that, bottom slot, on that bottom slot, so we need to get to 90 total, so when we master work all five pieces, that hits our last 10 to get us to 100, so 90 divided by 4, that's going to be 22.5, so any piece that's 23 or higher, awesome, you are well on your way to getting that stat to 100, so if you get that mix, basically... Super long story short, super TLDR, if you have at least 31 in the top two, or the, the, the grouped two, and at least 23 in the single slot, that is a god roll piece that you want to be keeping and definitely holding on to in order to make your triple 100 builds. That is the one sentence explanation of this entire video. So that being said, again, don't get too caught up in the total stat roll. Again, that'll help you in terms of how many stats you can get across all of your stats. So if you do want a fourth stat to hopefully be a little bit higher, then, you know, you're going to want that total stat roll to also be a little bit higher. And then maybe, you know, in this example, having like a little bit of discipline and then removing a little bit of that discipline to get intellect so you don't like overcap your discipline can be, can be very useful. But even a 63 like this, where you've got, again, we've got 31 on our group of two, we got 26 in our discipline, that is going to be a piece that can potentially reach triple hundreds. Even though it's only a 63 total, you know, a lot of people are like 65 plus must have it. But that distribution is going to be infinitely more important than the total. Obviously, the total also is going to need to be pretty high in order to get at least 20 plus or, you know, 23 plus in your single stat and to get 31, 32 plus in your other stat. I mean, that's already going to be like any, it basically requires a 60 plus piece. I mean, we can do the math really quick. It'd be, we need at least 33 total on the top because mobility is always going to have two here. And we need, again, if we're going to say 23 in discipline, that is 56 plus the two in intellect, two in strength, that's 60. So like any piece that's lower than 60 is literally impossible for that to exist in then. So you have that going for you. But again, doesn't necessarily have to be 66, 67, 68. Like obviously that's going to potentially, you know, be your best possible option. You know, maybe get a little like one extra tier into a fourth stat or one extra tier into your fifth or your sixth stat. But if you're just going for that triple hundreds, really be looking for that distribution and make sure that is perfect because that's what you need. And that's all for today. I hope this extremely deep dive into armor was helpful. I know this type of content probably isn't for everyone. Not everyone really cares about exactly why something works. They just want to know what to do and how to do it. That's our last video. This video is why this works. And I hope this was interesting. I hope this was helpful. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.